Good morning, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Salty Tales. Today's video is a follow-up on a video I made recently where I tried store dry aged steaks for the first time. And to be honest, I didn't enjoy paying $30 for that steak. But in that video, I promise you, I will make a follow-up video comparing that steak to a homemade dry-aged steak. And 28 days later, here we have it. But I should tell you, 28 days is not the optimal or my favorite timing for dry-aged steak. I do prefer 45 days, which is the perfect time between 30 and 60 days, where the meat is funky as hell, but not too dry. I've tried them all from 15 to 120 days, and the 45 days is the best for me. I haven't tried the 200 days yet, but for that we need a completely different approach that I will have to tell you about. But that will be in another episode, so let's get back in track. This is my 28 days dry age choice prime rib we are going to use to compare to the one from Whole Food. Why 28 days? Because in Whole Foods, where I purchased this dry-aged steak from, they claim their meat is dry-aged for 28 days. So, to have a fair comparison, I did the same. The things I do for you, huh? Now, let's trim the homemade one so we can compare one next to the other before cooking. Trimming dry-aged meat will take a good chunk out of it. So the best way I've found to do it is by cutting it into steaks first and then trim the edges as best as possible. That way we will be wasting the least amount of meat compared to any other way of doing it. Now, this is the one I chose clean and this other one is the one from the store. As we can appreciate, there is a difference in color. The homemade one is deep red and the meat feels more firm and dense. The colors of the store one are lighter, more like a pinkish color and the meat density is like a regular steak. But the biggest issue here is the smell. The homemade dry age smells deep, like an old expensive blue cheese. It resembles an earthy smell, funky and old. The store one is very different. It doesn't have that deep, strong smell, and it smells more like a regular steak you would buy in the store. But smells are not the only thing that make dry aged steaks special. A well dry aged steak should taste beefy, very beefy, strong, hard to the touch, but extra tender to the bite. And of course, to compare the flavors, we will need to cook them first. So to the seasoning we go. I will treat them both the same with sea salt and pepper and allow them to rest with the spices on top while the grill gets ready. But before we get to see these steaks, there is a few things you need to know when you are cooking dry aged meat. Because we remove a lot of the moisture from a dry aged steak, it will cook very different than a regular steak. This meat will overcook really easily and you should target 10 to 20 degrees less than your normal steaks. Using my favorite method of reverse searing, I always cook my steaks to 120 degrees and then I sear. But with the dry aged steaks, I will cook them only to 110 degrees. Take them out, let it rest for 20 minutes and then I sear. And that part guys is vital if you really want to keep as much moist inside the steak as you possibly can. And for the searing, I will open my entire grill and allow it to get raging hot before even thinking on setting my steaks to sear. Once hot enough, I will sear them for a total of one minute per side. And no matter how they look, I will put them right there. And now, to try to avoid any loss of juices, let them rest for 15 minutes before you cut into it. That is my routine after many trials and errors. And if you hate well done steaks, that will be my recommendation too. All we have left to do is to give them a try and experience the flavors these two exceptional steaks should have. Well, Miss Ninja, here we have these two beautiful steaks and this is an experiment. You need to let me know which one you like better. We have number A and we have number B. We're going to try them both and see which is the best for Miss Ninja and see which is the best for me. I haven't tried it. I'm, I'm, my for mouth them, is watering them. already. I want that piece. There you have it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there you have it. Let's here go. I have it. Give it a try. Extremely, extremely, extremely tender. Real good. Real tender. Very intense, smoky flavor. Yeah. Uh-huh. Really good, huh? <laughs> Let's try the other one, Miss Ninja. Good. Let's try the other one. It's Number good. B. All right, Miss Ninja, we have number B there. Get your piece. 
Let I will get mine. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Mm. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about this one, Ms. Inja? I love it. What do you love about it? It's extremely tender, too. It is extremely Ew. tender, too. It is beefier than the other one. Mm -hmm. And you get, do you get that? A funky flavor. Funky flavor. Ms. Inja got the, the funky, funky flavor. flavor. Now, the question is, Ms. Inja. Did you feel that flavor on number eight? No. I did not feel it either. So number A is the one from the store. Number B is the one that I did here at home. Okay. It has a better funky flavor. Uh -huh. It has a little bit of uh, blue cheese. When you breathe out, you breathe out a little bit of blue uh -huh. cheese. It's the really umami. beefy. Really, really intense beef flavor. The umami, as Miss Ninja say. Miss Ninja know more than me already. And man, number B is delicious. Brothers and sisters. <laughs> Are you gonna say sisters or what? You didn't say it, bro! Okay, we say it again. <laughs> Number B is the leeches, brother! I'm sister! <laughs> There is very oh, yeah. few things that can be the homemade uh, dry age. Number A is good, <laughs> but it is like a regular steak. It's, it, it doesn't have the funky flavor. It's not as beefy as the other one, and it's really tender as the other one. It's really good. But number B has everything a dry age steak should have. What happened? <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry, guys. Once again, number B is 28 days. I, I'm really missing those 17 extra days that I like for a 45 day. Because in the 45 days, you get that funky flavor really punching you in the face. And you really get that umami working in your mouth when you have it all that long dry aging. This other one is good. It's not a bad steak. Does it worth $30? Right. I don't know. It's dry age. Yes, it looked like it was dry age. As you can see in the beginning, there were some dark borders in there and everything but guys nothing beats homemade dry age for sure i guess so so now with all that say i had to ask you a question what did what? i make you hungry did he if we made you hungry you had to hit us with the like lots of lots so of subscribe likes. to the channel share Show with your friends eyes. and family and don't forget to leave me your comments down there what do you think about it would you waste yes, do it, do it, do it. time dry aging are you into that are you really wanting to extract as much possible flavor from a steak in the dry aging process you let me know down there in the comments that's all for today but remember that i love ya mm -hmm. love you too thanks for watching and see you on the next one see ya Bye.